Hello, welcome back to the Awkward Corner, the podcast where we are discussing everything and anything to do with design. Uh, I'm Stephen, your host, and with me is Amy. Hi. I said your name funny then, didn't I? You did. Mm, yeah. Amy. Amy. I didn't say quite like that. <laughs> like Donald Duck. <laughs> um, and that would be SJ over there. Hello. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hello. Thank hello, you. Hello. Thank are you. we all good? We all good? Bit we delirious. are good, yeah. Bit delirious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tired after our 16 episodes. Mm. Is it 16 no, episodes? No, this is 16. Oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is our well, 16th. Well, we haven't done it yet, though. Yeah, but I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> this is going to go well, then, isn't it? <laughs> it's been 84 years. It's been 84 years. Or like 85, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, yeah. Or, like, I mean, that's a lot of episodes already. Mm-hmm. Who, who knew we'd come this far? I know. Um, my mother did because she had faith in us. Mm. Shout out to my mum. And Hi, yet mom. we've got so much more to give. Always. Uh, so much. So much. So, so much. There are so, so many ghost stories out there. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> um, today's topic. Yes. Um, which was a recommendation to us, which yes. is really great mm. that um, people have started to give Fabulous. us different kinds of ideas for our show. So if you do have any show ideas, topics, let us know. You can email us, awkward at nda.ac.uk or on one of our social channels. Just send us a message if you've got more topic ideas for our forthcoming season two. Because we are going to take a little break, aren't we? We are going to take a little break after this one. So on Instagram, Meg Stevens. Hi, Meg. Also known as MH Interior Design. Yeah. um, Wanted to uh, know if we could talk more about TV contests. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So we will be talking about that today, but also we'll, we'll be talking about TV in the wider context. Yeah. Well, like Interior it. design related, I was going to say, though. not Emmerdale Farm. No. 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 They don't call it Emmerdale Farm now, no, do they? No, isn't it just Emmerdale? Emmerdale. <laughs> I think they, the, so the, the plane, the plane, there was a plane crash, wasn't there? Was, there was. And it went from Emmerdale to Emmerdale Farm. Oh, the, did they destroy the farm? I think then they came the back with like new branding, didn't they? Sexier. After the, after oh. the aeroplane. I have no When idea. was that? Like the early 90s? I mean, yeah. When I was and then it became Emmerdale. I don't know. Was it that? Ago. I can, was, remember, that. I can remember hearing was, that that happened, but was. I never watched Emily. And do you know they still never got to the bottom of the, why the plane crashed? Oh, do they not? <laughs> Interesting well, fact of the day. There you go. Wow. Um, I don't does, know. It, does, any just, does anyone watch any soaps before we get into no, the main topic? I don't. I don't either. No, 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 I don't. My mum tells me a lot about EastEnders, mm. and I don't know anything leave about it. it but uh, leave it. Uh, get out of my leave pub. It, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Shut your face. Oh. <laughs> SJ wants to do something. Come on, wake yourself up to it, Doc. No. Oh, I thought we were going to get your best. Babs wins, are they? No. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I can't. No. Um, can't top, take the piss yes. out of you, Stenders, I'm sorry. <laughs> Beep. Beep. <laughs> um, TV contests, then. Mm. Um, and TV shows around the interior design, more generally. The most recent one I think we've got to talk about is Interior Design Masters, yeah. which was yeah. the one that's been on. Has it had its second series, I think? Or maybe yes, even a third? perhaps third. Yeah, I think so. I remember we watched the first one mm-hmm. quite collectively, actually. Yeah, we all watched group, it together. And uh, Fern Cotton was the presenter at that it point, was, wasn't yeah, it? Was, and and now it's person. Alan Carr. Alan Carr. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why I did it like that. I don't know if that's a good impression of Alan Carr or not. Probably not. Apologies, Alan. <laughs> uh, what did we think of that as a show? Because I was quite excited about it when I first heard about it. I have well, to be we honest. we were, weren't we? Kind of. Yeah. I thought it was going to be something that broke down that usual stereotypical show about interior design. Yeah. Where it was like, oh, we're going to make over your house. And, you know, as much as I love those, um, and we'll get into that later. <laughs> it, it felt like it, it was sold like that, wasn't it? That mm-hmm. you were going to see the real kind of interior design. I, I'm always disappointed with shows like this, though, because I'm not... Then this is not a reflection on the contestants of no, the show. because it's um, TV, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and you don't know how much exactly. is... Yeah. But it comes yeah. back to that fast-paced nature of a project, that they're mm. given a space, and they're very quickly... Was it two days? They paint it, they do whatever to it, they, yeah, you know... Yeah, rip it out, yeah. And it's not... There but isn't that thought, process, really. no. That back and you don't see well the stages the of the, the project. No. There, like you said, there's not that client interaction. And it gives the impression that it can be done really quickly when actually, if you're looking for a high-end result, mm. 
you know, you two days yeah. and a couple of tins of paint and some lace pinned to the wall is not really... So it works in my yeah. house. <laughs> it's also, it's that fact that they're aspiring interior designers or... Want to be. Want to be. Yes. And it's kind of like, it's almost like luring them into a false sense of security it, it <laughs> if they've back. never done yeah. a project. It goes back to that misconception mm. idea again, isn't it, of what interior design is. I think what was nice to see, though, for, from that show was that they were asked to produce a yes. concept yeah. board, at Indeed. least. So like, you yeah, kind of had an, an idea. idea. They had something that they you knew they were working towards. Mm. How effectively they translated yeah. that, I would still argue. Do you remember the bed? Which bed? Which one? Oh, we're there talking was... about the girl who won it, finally. Did but she win room, it in yeah, the end? The she one. did a bed... The hotel rooms, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, I remember, With that, I remember um, that episode. Different kind of drapes of fabric. Everybody had a, a different room and then That's they right. had to do redo the, the rooms. And it just they? looked to me like it was going to get really, really dusty. Yeah, some people pointed out it looked worse after she'd done it yeah. than what it looked like. <laughs> yeah. No offence. I think I remember. Um, it was like a four poster. Oh, we talked about it a lot of the time. Yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. It had Victoria on a field, yeah, yes, didn't it? That, yes, I know exactly yeah, yeah. what you're talking about now. She was trying to repurpose mm. fabrics or yeah. something. Yeah. It didn't work, lines, did it? it? No, it didn't. And I think that's where it lost me, actually. And I'm not sure I watched the rest of the series no. after that. No, because some it was the points on there that it was like like drawn to her attention. It's like, well, have you thought about how you would clean that? How, how you would do that? And but that's it, isn't it? Because interior design is not just about the aesthetics. No, There's so much the more than just it. Yeah. Well. There's the practicality. The functionality of yeah. it. Um, Especially within hospitality. But... But that's not her fault, was it? Because no. that's the thing. She's yeah. on a TV show and yeah. they've said, here's three days. Yeah. Do it. So, mm. and, and that's the confusion. And then mm. you've got somebody go, because I remember actually they were quite critical on that, mm. that whole episode when they evaluated the rooms, which was good because it finally showed that actually you can't do that. Or well, that's not a very good idea because mm. of this. Mm. Because you actually need to take more time. But that's another problem with the show in general. It's like setting people up to fail. It's like when yeah. they let the people on X Factor through to that kind of final audience stage, when they've already had like three auditions prior and they mm. actually can't sing and they're doing it to set them up for a reaction, for aren't they? Yeah. And it's the same in, same but different, uh, in, this, in this instance that they are taking people that want to learn about interior design, that have got a passion for interior design. They then get them to do something. Wrong. <laughs> Over a three-day period, knowing full well that they're probably going to at it's some point mess, yeah. mess up. Mm. And that makes better television. Of course it does. I thought what was interesting, there was a guy on there, he was an architectural student. I yes, think. I remember him, yeah. And he was my favourite to win it, I think, from very early on. Didn't he do a Memphis-inspired living room? He might have. Yeah. But the point was, he did come at it with someone who had more... Experience. You yeah, could tell and, and, and that kind of just that extra yeah. bit of thought of like the practicality of this. Um, and I mean, he didn't win it, ironically. No, but, but didn't he really rub people up the wrong way? Um, and I think potentially that's because he was coming at it from a different angle. Yeah, yeah, when they were working together. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mm. yeah, not just like insulting people for the fun of it. Yeah, no. The just room like that <laughs> I really remember is the one with the arches. The very first episode where he the painted sun- the arches. <laughs> yeah. Back to EastEnders. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love. <laughs> Let me just flip He's the just channel. a big fan. He's just a big fan. <laughs> Seems as we all are. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that was the sort of cherry on the cherry on the cake for me. It was like, but you Jesus. see, I think that come from trends, though. At that time, I think, yes, like, I remember, 100%. like, there was like a lot of that kind of style and, and interpretation. Yeah. But again, it's not necessarily going to work if you just paint a wall. <laughs> Right, it's, it's not. It's not going to have the same vibe as you building some kind of structure with it, and it's got purpose. And like, yeah, mm. it's like mm. just three arches on a wall. <laughs> I'm laughing because all I can see in my mind is those three arches. <gasps> all right, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is another one that was before that thought, which was the Great British Interior Design Challenge or Show. And that yeah. was with Sophie Robinson, was oh, one I of the judges. I watched that. No, I, didn't I do either. know. And and it, I, I think it's on Netflix as well. I think they've put all the series on Netflix. They might have done, yeah. Because yeah. they again, they run about three or four. Uh, it was Daniel Hopwood. Yes. Hopwood as well was yes. the other judge on that, who I really like, actually. I think he's a very good interior designer. Um, and again, that was a show I anticipated this is going to kind of show Change, yeah. the kind of proper and to a degree it did 
but yet it still fell into the same kind of traps that TV mm. expects you to do. It was, because again, it was taking somebody's actual home, which again, I think is like, it's very brave on those mm. people that are offering that up. But again, they did introduce them to, like, this is the concept. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. But they still had, like, I think it was a week, for like five days, which is, is, is longer, it's better. But you are still setting people up, aren't you? It still goes back into that idea of mm. it's not enough time. Why can't they film just the project? Well, see, now this is, I think I've banged on about uh, Hilary Farr before, mm. who does the um, f- uh, Love It or List It in America. Mm. Right. And that show has the drama, it has the drama, mainly because of her. Mm. But it has the drama because they, they, they go through a project from start to finish, mm. all of the construction stuff, all of the budget stuff, yeah. the interaction with the client. And yes, there's probably some interaction with the client that potentially is slightly scripted to yeah. add that drama. Yeah. But it gives a much better representation of what a project would be like. And mm. it still has that appeal. Yeah. of being a dramatic show because you're not quite sure, sure. how it's going to end and whether the clients are going to like it and whether it's going to work. And I mean, I, 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 mean I love it. I think it's great. To be fair, if they actually genuinely followed a real interior design project, there would be so much drama that you wouldn't need to worry about staging no. drama anyway. No, because it always goes, <laughs> you know what, up. Um, I, we, I remember you saying this and I still never looked up whether she got that from... Bill and Cursity in this country. Or whether we or got whether it. We, yeah. Or whether they took that from her. Yeah, I don't know. Because, because I've not seen the UK one. that show is very, very... I mean, it's not a competition, but it's that idea of, here's your house. Do you want to do all this to it? Or do you want to buy a new house? Mm. But it's, there is credibility to that because it's thinking about mm. proper design. It's, it's, it's looking at it, isn't it? As There's so many of these TV shows out there now as well, though, isn't there? because they've become really we got one recently though didn't we yeah got sent to us to yeah. see if any of our students wanted to um apply for it yeah, um, yeah yours truly right. was actually gonna yeah. submit as well because for one you could actually be an interior designer and apply for it yeah because that's the other thing the criteria about all yeah, of the yeah, other yeah. ones yeah. it's like are you a budding interior designer mm. are you aspiring to be an interior designer yeah. actually why not, not actually, just do a show sure. that interior designers who are really good at it can yeah. actually come yeah. on and, 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 and do compete. because because and yeah and we yeah. and we are competitive, competitive let's yeah. be honest we are competitive everybody likes no to, well, <laughs> no it's true you're, i wouldn't say you were competitive Stephen. No, not me don't it's get the monopoly out at christmas my eyes. no 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 i don't like to win i must win <laughs> uh, uh, but that was an interesting premise mm. and it'll be interesting to see when that comes out because that was um from reading the brief they were being asked to so if you're successful on the show there's nine apartments or how, uh, however many right. it was. Yes. And yeah. every week, someone has they have to do the same room. So it's the same apartment mm. and everyone's doing the same room in that apartment. And that feels like it's got real competition. Didn't you win about, the apartment? Yes. That, yeah, that, that's, that was it. That, that's and that, it. And that's why that feels like a proper... I mean, do you get to win the one you <laughs> designed? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah. Or can you pick and choose, <laughs> actually? Pick and choose? Yeah. <laughs> I prefer but I, is. <laughs> but I think that's a really interesting yeah. premise. And it sounds like quite a quite a big project to take on because mm. if you're doing a full room every week, mm-hmm. but again, it, it, the time frame of that will be interesting to see how long yeah. they're given to. Because otherwise, if it's not, because is that interior design? Is that just not interior decoration? Yeah. Mm. You see, you're back to that yeah. Yeah. definition again, aren't you? Indeed. Is is it actually on the surface of it just an interior decoration show? Mm. Because you're not actually considering mm. other things, other elements. Because clearly they're not going to knock about the apartments. No. no. So then yeah. how so do it you... So it is. It is. And, that's, and that feeds into that misconception again, isn't it? That anybody then can do it. And anybody can do interior decoration in some, to some degree, I would argue. Because if you have a good eye, yeah, yeah. as they say, yeah. um, if you're not getting too involved in the, mm. in the interior design aspect, the proper interior design of something... Like, that's what I'd like to see is a proper show. Delves into the concept a bit more. Yeah, Mm. that actually expands on whether it's like a blank room and you have to add structure to it. Yeah. So that you actually have to design Mm. it and you have a working layout. Or here's some really dodgy old flats. Knock them about. (laughs) 
knock him about. He's on the it's, set. A, it's a technical term. I'm back on the set of East Enders. <laughs> knock him about. Alan. Oh, this has become like innuendo bingo. <laughs> Oh Christ! There we go. All right now. Yep. Good. Um, but st- saying that, can anyone do it? Th- this is something that I was thinking of when, when um, kind of compiling a list of interior TV shows. Hmm. So there's a new one that actually, by the time this podcast comes out, will be available on Netflix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I know. And it's you're called going. How to Build a Sex Room. <laughs> okay. And I'm episode three. <laughs> Interior design for couples wanting to create space for their deepest fantasies. Mm. Um, and now this is, the, the interior designer is a woman called Men- Melanie Rose. Mm. She's a London-born actress oh. who came into interior design later on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh. And there wasn't a more appropriate time to right. play that jingle. I think, and I think it's on something like Really, you know, the TV yeah, channel. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There yeah. is one with. I'm gonna say her name is Rochelle Humes. Right. Off of oh, the Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. I oh. know who you're talking about. I'm yeah. sure I've seen adverts for. She's now an interior designer with her own interior design show, and this makes me again it questions can anyone yeah, do can it can anyone do it do you know what i mean like if you've got she, she is because i think that she came up on something that i got sent not so long ago um about a big interiors fair and she has a line of accessories and things out and i yeah i, I think you're right well it's she, like um alice levine off yeah. of one of our favorite podcasts uh uh my dad wrote a porno she's mm. got her own range of tableware for habitat is it mm. well i didn't it's. I, I mean, I won't. I won't have a bad word there, said against you, Alice Levine. But how did how did she come about that? Well, that's it, you isn't know, it? That's it, the question, isn't it? The, and again, this feeds into another podcast we did about who's influential. Yeah, and who has that is so true. Influence. Though. Rihanna. Or not. Or not so much. Oh no! You, yeah, we you, found out. Re- didn't we? Yeah, we Nala, heard, yeah. That's all ended in a bit of yeah. Poor tears. Rihanna. What a shame. Mind. Never mind. There's always the music to fall back on. Um. I think Sarah in our office mentioned one the other day and I want to say it was called spinning it or something and the contestants are given a terraced house Mm. so there's like six couples yeah some of them are brothers brother and sister husband and wife that kind of thing and they have to flip it same sort of thing yeah so they have to do up the house they've got a hundred thousand so they buy the property uh, that's right. They buy the property, and then whatever they've got left, they can choose how much do they to to use to actually do the house up, okay. and then put it on the market. And then is the is the contest there how much they flip it for? Yeah, the winner is the person who turns the best value, best mm. yeah, yeah, profit on it, profit, yeah. and they get to keep the profit. I think I think is how I understand it, which well, in itself mm. is interesting mm. because I don't know how much interior design is in that. Well, it's it, it goes back to that whole um, designing for a specific market, doesn't it? Because there's elements there of interior decoration that link specifically to residential design in a context of show homes, mm. home staging, which is a very specific style that you're mm-hmm. aiming yeah. for in order to appeal to a wide audience. Oh, I remember mm. those shows. <laughs> <laughs> so, Who was it? It's that American lady mm, and something. What was her name? Was she called the Doctor? The House Doctor. The House Doctor. Oh, Channel yeah. Five. Yeah, it, there's elements of that there, isn't there? Because you mm. are, in essence, you're doing it. For, you're doing it on to a budget for a specific audience or as wider audience as you can appeal to, in order to turn a profit. Mm. So. Hmm. Yeah, I you see. I don't. Yeah, I I don't know whether that's again. It's it super feels superficial mm. because you can take a house, you can give it a good clean a lick of paint mm. a few new doors mm. throw a few curtains in there and uh obviously <laughs> um with faces in tell us about curtains and faces Stephen. my paradoria yeah i see faces everywhere in particularly in curtains mm. like through the pattern Pants. yeah yeah, yeah. I, I do I that see, all the time i see things staring at me all mm. the time it could just be you said earlier on i can't look at a pair of curtains without seeing a face. a face yeah it's true it's very very it's true, true they've actually. got clowns all around <laughs> yeah like I can see, I, like. But I can picture details of faces in real detail. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can see skulls real a detail, lot. Yeah. I mean, obviously my your, shirt today it does actually reflection. have skulls. You know, it's it. not just like the, uh, the sort of like the aberration of the face. It's like pure. Yeah, pure proper detail. detail. Like Amy's wearing dungarees today. Mm. Very colourful. Uh, shout out to Lucy and Yak. These are my uh, Save by the Bell yeah. dungarees. Yeah. And um, real Wackaday vibes, if anyone mm. remembers that. Um, but I can see faces in that, mm. which is really weird, considering how psychedelic it is. <laughs> and I probably need help, but it is. That's something. not because you can see faces that you just no, need that's help just in general. Need, need yeah. help. Um, <laughs> It's, I don't know, I think I think there's a lot of interesting TV shows that say we are interior design, obviously, mm. isn't it? and they make a contest out of it. But at the end of the day, it's a TV show. And I think that's what it always comes back to. So whether yeah. you ever get a true representation. Um, I remember one, I, I saw one series, I think it was on Amazon Prime, and it was called Design Star, which is an American one. And again, mm. the Americans, they, they do everything tenfold, don't they? Mm. And... But that was genuinely them mm. building everything. So I remember the one project, this guy was, they were doing out a big New York apartment yeah. and they all had different sections of the place to mm. build. And he built a skate ramp in part of the loft, wow. which is amazing. But he, he actually used mm. his skills and, ta and talent to, do to physically build it. And I thought, yeah. again, like that, that was taking it more seriously. Mm. All these different people, the contestants had skills mm. that they could use as part of the project and actually add something to it real design quality and and because yeah. they 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 talked about the whole space how are we going to do this where are we going to lay that out that's nice. who's going to do that bit mm. and that felt a lot more and obviously it's american and they got big budgets and they and they and they do go all in when they do mm. stuff like that we've never had that no have you seen amazing spaces on uh, netflix no so no. each week uh, i say each week each episode mm. They focus on like two or three different interior spaces. And some of them they go to visit and they explore the space fully formed. But they always have a story in it where they follow somebody who's doing a project. Mm. And that's quite interesting because it's not, it, there isn't that drama to it, but it is no, very just representative of a project. Yeah. Um, the one that sticks out for me is a guy that was designing and building. And again, he did it all by hand. A, a so he collected sci-fi memorabilia and his mm. wife got annoyed because it was filling the house up so he decided that he was going to build his own museum so he found this That's space a, I think his it was own a, gallery wall the <laughs> basement the basement of their property which is quite That's expansive quite cool. and, a then, of a basement. and <laughs> then built this sci-fi museum wow to house all the stuff but actually people could come and visit as well That's and nice. I quite like I, that yeah, I like yeah. that kind of they're all kind of quirky spaces, but again, it does demonstrate the stages of a project, mm. the, the things that might go wrong, the things that potentially, you know, you'll have to work hard, harder mm. on. Budget, I think it gets all that a lot sort of visitors stuff. there. A lot of people are interested in stuff like that. It, that's like the show that George Clark does, though, isn't it? Yeah. No, I've not seen this one. It, You've never seen, the it's the same isn't thing George called Clark's called Amazing, Amazing Spaces. Spaces. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. no, I have seen that one. But hasn't he but got a new one? It's about, yeah, he's got quite a few now. Okay. Yeah. But that one is all about tiny spaces and how people deal with yes. turning different things. And that things. is really interesting. And that's really good design. Yeah. That's yeah. really good design. I know it's not competition, but it's no, but, but it's, it's amazing to see the, the, the processes and the thought. It's thoughtful, the, isn't it? That the people have yeah. and how you properly adapt to the space you've got and what yeah. you want to do with it. And quite a lot of those, they do them themselves, don't yeah. they? Like when they like do a train carriage or whatever. Yeah, but there's there's some real intricate detailing going yeah. on yeah. there. Very clever stuff. Yeah. And he's done some good projects as part of that show yes. as well with his friend Will, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's I, it's I, I struggle to remember his name. Did you just call him an it. Will, I think it's called. Did you I? said Will, I think it's called. I think yeah. It, did I? He. It. Well, no, because I struggle with his name because I always think of Jesus when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to sounds really weird. And apologies to Will if he is listening. But he's is like, it the hair? Well, yes, and also he's a carpenter. <laughs> 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 and I just and in and in my head, I just I always. I, Are you thinking of Noah who I'm built just, the ark? I just, just, I just think, oh, it's Jesus. Here he is. <laughs> um, because, but he's he is. I mean, if you've ever seen some of his actual work. Oh, but the, the beauty in carpentry. Yeah, that he he, the work that he does. He mm. did um, a huge 
play like ground set of like with a castle and all kinds of things for one of the Emirati yeah. shakes or something. It's an amazing project. You know, he is very handy as a carpenter. Yeah. Um, or maybe just had to find Andy. <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> Um, you know, that's why I struggle with this. Now. All I can think of now is Will from the repair shop who is their like wood Oh, I haven't seen it. Everybody's like, I don't talk, know, but he told me about this fantastic. and uh, I haven't seen it. No, I, no, I, 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 I watch a few of them, but they are quite emotional. They, yeah, I mean, don't like watch they, it if you're feeling, if you're feeling vulnerable because, yeah, mate, it's, it's the, like the new oh. DIY SOS, which... <gasps> That was one, wasn't it? Oh DIY God! SOS. Some of those, some of those episodes, though, they were really heart wrenching, <sighs> weren't they? You've excited, you know, you've excited my mum now because she has a real thing for Nick Knowles. I do, though. That's I think he's lovely. Um, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but did was the appeal in that program the design? I don't think it was. I think it was the backstory. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. What, you, what they were doing for the families that needed the help. It is. Yeah. And the, again, there's an American version of that, isn't it? The extreme makeover. Yes. I mean, they. I mean, that. And that is really extreme. Mental. <laughs> so extreme. So extreme. Let's go extreme. Well, I like they do about like the whole street reveal, don't they? And everybody's involved. Cheering and whooping. Yeah, it's and like, whoop. and, oh, come. <laughs> What I like about the American They're putting ones in a sink. <laughs> is that it's more. my mind. <laughs> It's more interior architecture. Therefore, you get to see them you smashing do. walls down. Yeah. Yes, and there is always them. someone with a big hammer, hammer smashing, smashing a wall up. in. <laughs> and I think that all TV shows should have more of that in. Yeah. That EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, Grant. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. <laughs> He's not worth it. <laughs> Shut it. Um, we can't talk about TV shows without talking about some of my favourites. Oh, of course. Um, of course okay, not. Talk about you again. <laughs> Right, let's make it about me. I thought that's what we had been doing all this time. Um, I, want, I, I do want to shout out. What did he say? It's, it's my show. Welcome it's to my show. My show. It's my show. Who are you two? Yeah. Who let you in? Um, I want to shout out to Grand Designs because. Of course. Yeah. I, I want to, uh, like, because that originally, and I am going back because mm. I am old enough to remember the very first episode mm. when it came on. Was about self building. I mean, and I mean properly self building. Yeah. So, again, going back mm. to the sort of thing we were just talking about, about people actually getting their Doing hands dirty, dirty yeah. and really kind of building something for necessity mm -hmm. because they wanted to build their own home. Yeah. Because they were, and I remember some of those were, were in the early days of sustainability as well, where they were building them from an eco point of view. Yeah. Well, yeah, you yeah. Know, first time solar panels were seen, put, yeah. you know, being put on roof and that kind of thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, the show has become such a TV show now that it, I don't mm. think it, it often goes back to that. Back to those, to those core roots. principles, yeah. Yeah, that it obviously it's still self builders, but I mean, some of those mega structures they do build now, I mean, whilst they are amazing projects to mm. see, they, they don't have that same connection that they used to have where people felt that they could buy an relate. old water tower yeah, yeah. Or, or just or just well that's george clark again with these yeah, restoration just, projects something. where he used to go back and look at the, oh yeah yeah no i have seen I, that one too, I, yeah. I, I do love that one because anything anyone saving old buildings and, and mm. doing things like that it's great but but it's it's that people actually can relate to them can't they because people you can see the people they're designing it they're working on it yeah they've not just got massive budgets to do it which is what brings me back to the, one of the original shows now i am going to mention change of rooms hmm. oh, well, right. if you did i mean you do every worried, episode yeah. so i know go on do a little I'm name not, sorry. drop name drop name drop no but before that hmm. there was home front oh i yeah i remember that one yes. <laughs> yeah i'm only a baby i know, mm. I know. i'll tell you about it sometime. <laughs> i'll tell you about it right now go go come on granddad but that was it's been 84 yeah <laughs> Sounded like Voldemort then. Oh, you did that's the nicest like thing you've like ever said to me. <laughs> you did. Harry Potter. <laughs> I'll do the rest of this podcast. Come and design my bathroom for me now. I'm there. <laughs> um, what do you reckon Voldemort's bathroom would look like? Black. black yeah. Yeah, black, black with a bit of marble. Matte black. Matte, Matte black. Mm, yeah, possibly so. A bit of marble. Possibly Maybe some so. gold trim. Oh, no, silver. <laughs> Or chrome, actually, chrome. The body of a virgin hanging chrome, in the corner. Chrome, chrome. <laughs> um, I've lost my train of thought entirely. Uh, Homefront. Yes. Now, that was very much, you know, like the typical 
all magazines that you can see, like yeah, yeah. House Beautiful, mm-hmm, I didn't yeah. look at it. That was really one of the first. I know there have been sort of shows like that before, but this was the first one to properly look at interior design mm. and how you could get involved. It's where Kevin MacLeod started on TV. Really? Because he used to do paint effects. Wow. And all that kind of it thing. It all starts with paint it effects. It always, always <laughs> wow. starts uh, hit the NDA. Yeah. 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 I was I mean, just thinking the same. Right? And we will you know, we'll get to that in a future episode mm. about the history of the NDA. Um, but it was a, it was a magazine type show, so you'd have different segments of people, you know, mosaic and a table for outside, or um, I can't remember her name now. I had her book, and then I, I gave it away to the charity shop. It's all coming. Oh, well, yeah, it was it's, obviously it's very all good. coming back though, isn't it? Paint effects but, and finishes. But that's yeah. it. it. Was it was stuff that people you could mm. have a go at it. How successfully you did it? I mean, that's. Well, it's a I painted. I, I I had a desk, one of these like uh, old fashioned. Um, School desks that yeah. lifted up. Oh, oh yeah, and a, yeah. and a and a stool. Sally loves them. And I can't have been all that Forever. old <laughs> at all. Um, but my mum came home and I had painted it bright blue and stenciled pink lizards on it. What did your mum say? She wasn't very happy. <laughs> oh, she didn't say well done. Amy. Was it yours? It was mine, but I think I think I I think I was not. I didn't use it very much anymore. I had a new desk, and I think she was going to give it to somebody else. Oh. And then she came home to find that I'd painted it. Oh, oh yeah. Did you improve it though? I think so. Oh, there you go. Then. It, it, right, then. That just reminds me a bit of my natural driftwood bench. Oh, oh tell us about on. your driftwood bench. Well, I feel like I know this. You story. know this story. Did it float? No, <laughs> I've got this beautiful natural driftwood <laughs> bench. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and I've had it for years yeah. in my garden, and oh, <laughs> that I inherited from my parents. And when um, me and my husband first moved in together, not long after we'd started living together, yeah. I came home from work and he had oh. painted oh. my natural oh. driftwood <laughs> bench. Oh no! <laughs> he had painted it the same color as the brown fence paint. <laughs> so my lovely natural driftwood bench looked like a plastic log from something you would see in a child's playground. Disney. <laughs> but to top it off, it was his... He was so proud that he'd painted this Done bench and he was like, oh my God, look how good it looks. And I was literally dying inside. Aww. Actually dying inside. What did you do? Apart from kill him. Uh, I had, I it literally had no words at the time. I think inside I was crying, you know. And but I, yeah. Anyway, that's what that reminds me of. It's only just, have you still got it? Got, yeah, but it's only Has just it come, come back? back. It's only just come back, and I've had to strip it. Je- I've jet washed it. Washed it. Uh, uh, it's three inches smaller now. <laughs> <laughs> There's hardly any natural drip left. <laughs> It's just a stick. It's a twig. I mean, you know, needless to say, we are st- still married, but yeah, that was a... Oh. Touch and go. It was. <laughs> Does he go. listen to the podcast? <laughs> well, he will now if he gets a shout The lesson out. in that, <laughs> stay away from the creatures. Is there anything else that you don't <laughs> want him to paint while yeah. we're at it then? Well, this is it, you see. That this is a lesson in life because if he goes near a tin of paint and a paintbrush, then I have to but, clearly specify. But I'm going to admire his continuity here because yes. he painted it to match. <laughs> Did he paint yeah. it in an alternative and colour? He thought, he thought thing <laughs> bless it i know but anyway that's yeah. the influence these shows have because there was also obviously at the same time there was changing rooms mm. there was ground force with you know oh, the garden yeah. and anna titchmarsh but charlie he, dimmick but he had a thing alan for painting everything blue mm. i don't know what <laughs> maybe that was it maybe i did like you. i did like ground blue fence blue bench blue, fence, blue, bench. blue, bench. <laughs> blue shed blue shed blue this grass it's all blue it's all blue i love me that's what oh, i'm gonna dear. Um, changing room store. Yeah. As we know, go, change, on, change, go on, change, go on, go on, go on. Change, get it out. Change, change my life. No, because I wanted to kind of, because we're talking about TV shows mm. and changing rooms is always referred, you know, people kind of see that as the, from a contemporary point of view, as the one that really started yeah. the yeah, whole it was a thing. Catalyst. People's interest was yeah. Yeah. a catalyst. That well, I think word. it is, yeah. Was it was, it definitely was. Um, I have a copy of the book, the, the the first book that they produced. I think they did a, a number of other books. So what year is uh, that, that one? This, let me tell you, let me tell you. <laughs> um, 1997. And what's wow. special about that particular copy? Um, well, a couple of things. Um, I was in my 
when did I get this? Was my first or second year at university. Mm. So as we know, Lawrence is one of the reasons I went to university to study yeah. interior architecture. You have mentioned this. I have mentioned it. Um, once or and twice. Uh, there was a new opening of Barker and Stonehouse in Newcastle. Mm. I mean, that in itself is like five minutes, <laughs> right? Oh my God. Yeah, continue. And uh, my friend and I, Paul, if you are listening, shout out to Paul. Paul. Uh, Hello, Paul. Hey, Paul. We went to... Went to um, Newcastle to, to go. So you Be- actually went to Newcastle? Yeah. Wow. Because opening the new Barker and Stone House was do, Andy do, do. Handy, Linda Barker, Andy. and Lawrence Llewellyn Bowie. Oh. And I have a book, mm. and he has signed it for me. And I've kept it ever since. It's very it precious to say, you. For Stephen, love Lawrence. Oh. And also, in fairness, Stephen, lots of love, Linda Barker. And I got a kiss from Linda. And that usually sits on a velvet cushion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why didn't Handy Andy sign? Um, I don't know. I think we got moved on Was he not very quickly. handy? Oh, what a shame. Or he might have been signed. <laughs> that would have been, that have been the maybe, one for me. I don't maybe his Handy Andy to sign my book. <laughs> um, as a book, I mean, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> it does, again, it is a book that shows you, you know, how to, to have a go at things. And I do think that's, for all the TV nonsense yeah. of, of changing rooms, it does encourage people. Mm. You know, it looks dated now. It's an, yeah, but it's a good introduction of interior design you, principles. But that was the idea mm. of changing rooms, I think. Yeah. Still, even though the TV was a bit, you know, there are some brilliant Linda moments. Barker. Beautiful moments of changing rooms. <laughs> but it encouraged people to have a go at interior. And we talk about accessibility. We do, we do a lot. People like having access to, and and not being seen as elitist, because there is that element of interior design, which can go that way. Mm. But the other reason I brought that book in is because Lawrence did another book, because he did another show. See, I'm not familiar with this, and I don't think many people are. No, and I think that's why, I think it would shock a lot of people. He did a show called Design Rules, Mm. and this is a proper interior design show. So it goes through the fundamentals of interior design and what year was that please oh, you're very keen on it mm. right. i'd just like to know for context uh, this was 2003 okay oh, okay and i'm going to read you the contents page right <laughs> <laughs> because that's how much of a geek i am <laughs> um so there's an introduction obviously uh, careful with that book amy <laughs> so just one- op- open the window and throw it in the river <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I think he'd die. He would. I'm already having a turn. <laughs> he'd jump out after it. What? Yeah, I would. So the, so the stairs. It'd be like Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> Lawrence. Oh, oh. You do not. Notice... SJ'd be screaming. I'd be slapping her, telling her to pull herself <laughs> together. You do know it's the author of that book, though. Yes. Yeah. It's actually Linda, Linda Barker. Barker wrote most of it. Um, oh. Just the thought. Carry of you on your that story. Out. Go on. Um, so the contents page of. Lawrence's design rules book mm. is space is the first oh. one he looks at and analyzes space. Light mm-hmm. is the second one. Three is color. So he looks at the color psychology of an interior. This is looking all very familiar. Yeah, it looks a bit like module one. <laughs> Four is texture and pattern. What? Five is balance and harmony, mm. oh. which sounds like a double act. Yeah. And six is personality, which is all about your personal yeah. style yeah. and things. Yeah. I think this is a great book. He was on, to a, he was on to a winner there, weren't he? He, he knew something. Almost like he? he knew what he was talking he about. Knew, <laughs> but, but don't you think that's that's what's sad about this? As much as we joke about it, yeah. he actually is a very good interior Did designer. Interior designer? Hmm. Yeah. And that gets lost in his very extravagant... Flamboyance. You know, yeah, yeah, it's flamboyance yeah. and that. And, and then the way TV portrays him. But actually, if you look at this book, and you, you can go onto YouTube, because some of the episodes are actually yeah. up on YouTube. Yeah. And what he did, he took a... Let me find it. Let me find it. So he takes he takes an actual room mm. in the show, and actually breaks it down. Oh, and he analyzes it. That, that's that's mm. cool. And he shows you all the different elements of how you like mm. by putting your sofa here or balance like so. There's two different sofas. Like how you would actually go about Do it, planning yeah. a proper interior design. Mm. That's interesting. That is interesting. People forget that he wrote a book like that because he's become such a TV. But the thing is, when somebody has got a big personality particularly in uh, the media, they become, the representation of them is almost like a caricature of themselves. I I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. But then, saying that though, if he didn't 
he wouldn't probably wouldn't have written that he book. Probably well, exactly. He probably wouldn't have had the no. wonderful kind of career. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, and inspired you know. so many. So many. I get him confused. I, I, I get him confused. I don't, I don't get him confused because I do know the difference between the two. But he also, always, always reminds me of um, Nicky Clark. <laughs> yeah. well, that's because they both have fabulous, <laughs> fabulous hair, yeah. as my mother would say. Why have you got hair like that? Because it's gone. But then, <laughs> but then their popularity was kind of around the same time yeah. as well. So I think it's a great book. And mm. I think people should have a look at that. If they want to know more behind the kind of s- the scenes of, 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 of people who are involved in some of these shows. Yeah. I mean, I can't speak for... Actually, I can because... I've met him and I know him. I, <laughs> yes, I know. I love him. And um, he's my spirit Hi, animal. Lauren. <laughs> that make him a bigger mist. And I wouldn't make him do that. Um, somebody else who was That's on changing rooms. That's where you draw rooms. the line. Sorry, <laughs> draw the line. Yeah, it's good that there is one, right? Yeah, well, um, it's only very faint, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> the line is a dot to you. Another Friends reference for anyone out <laughs> yeah. there listening. Oliver Heath was on. Yes, he was. Yeah, changing rooms towards yeah. the sort of back and, end yeah. of it, and again, the very early days of promoting the idea of yes. sustainable mm-hmm. design in some of the stuff he'd done. And he's gone on now, really, to be the go-to his studio yeah, for sustainable interior mm-hmm. design. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, he wrote a book, and I, I do have that. It's not signed, though. No I offense, bet people Oliver. forget he was on Changing Rooms. But that's, but that's what I mean about yeah. how mm. he obviously used the opportunity that TV gave him. Of course, him. yeah. To go on and develop a Do really influential, influential yeah. and, a, and properly influential yeah. career, not just from a TV influential mm. kind of way, you know, setting the real kind of benchmark for yeah. a lot of yeah. really high quality sustainable interior design. Um, mm. Whereas Lawrence has another book coming out all about maximalism, which I'm very excited Does about. Does he really? Yeah. Oh. Which is him, isn't it? You know, to a to We'll have to do a book know. review then, won't I, we? I, I mean, it'd be lovely to have Lawrence on <laughs> yeah. to promote his book. <laughs> Why not? Hashtag um, Lawrence, if you're listening. This episode might be my pal Lawrence, part two. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Uh, but I genuinely would love to sit down with him and, and talk about yeah. him because I, he is a very interesting character. But there is a, that restraining order. So. There yeah, is. there is. So I, can, I can do it by Zoom. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it by Zoom. We know it works now. Well, I yeah, suppose we do. Zoom has really <laughs> opened up opportunities. It has. You know, for things I don't like even that. have to be in this country yet. <laughs> Can be in a we can make one. sure that you just are to far make sure away. I'm not breaking any rules. <gasps> Does anyone have anything else? I know. I think you've exhausted I think, it. I think we've done it justice. To be fair, ah, I, think I think we've so. done today's I think it's topic a nice justice. The good, the bad, and thank the you, ugly. Thank you, Meg. Yeah. Meg. Thanks, for Meg. The, for the yeah, suggestion, thank you, Meg. And it's nice to have comments and suggestions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So send them in, people. Definitely. Yeah. If yes. you've got any ideas or things you really want us to talk about or mm. argue over yeah then oh we can argue oh, yeah, we yeah. Can. i mean when we're off mike and we're off the violence yeah we've already true. had four today and it's yeah. only what time is it 10 to 1 10 to oh. 1 mm. oh, we better get you fed yeah. <laughs> yes please otherwise we'll get hangry <laughs> <laughs> um we are going to take a little break though as we said mm. aren't we we're going to be off for four or five weeks do something do like do that um do 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 coming back in September mm-hmm. is when we're likely I'm getting a little nod so yes I'm going to say that confidently now September um, will be the next episode so if you do have anything you really like us to to talk about then yeah. then, then contact Now's us now's the time um, as I said we have the email awkward at nda.ac.uk or you can follow us on our Instagram accounts that's the National Design Academy and the Awkward Corner podcast mm-hmm. reach out to us tell yeah. us what your favourite TV show might be um, or if you know of any new ones, actually, because mm. we're always interested to see what else people are putting out there. Yes, please. I would also really like to know f- in other countries. Now, obviously, we yeah, have students true. at the National Design Academy in over 35 different countries. And some. And some. Yeah. Uh, so I would be interested to know whether other... C- so we've, we've touched on British and American, but what about, you know, what's a Mexican interior design show like? Oh. Yeah. Arriba! That was just an example. I'm not, mm. uh, you know... Suggesting mm-hmm. that we do an episode purely on that, but I'm just from a cultural perspective. Or a Swedish one. Do they use flat pack? <laughs> Is it just <laughs> IKEA? From or a cultural they... perspective, I'm interested to see how they differ. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, that yeah, that'd be really interesting. Mm. What is the Mexican changing rooms? Yeah. And do they have a mustachioed Lawrence Llewellyn <laughs> Bowie? <laughs> Although he has one now, actually, in final. Does he? He does. Oh, God. I'm gonna start Googling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Be right back. Um 
thank you everybody for listening thank you um, thank you we hope Good you've enjoyed night. this and like i say let us know if you've got any thoughts or topics that you want for us and we will see you very very soon yeah bye bye